All right. Hello and welcome back to Vingroth Crazed Hoarder Adventure. I'll be flat honest, YouTube. Um, we had about 26 minutes uh, before this, um, but we made absolutely no progress because Christine is the weakest person I freaking have as a follower for everything. And for some reason, she will only use melee weapons. Why? She said she was good at so much more. She won't even use ranged weapons. Any freaking energy weapon I go... Nope. Nope. I'll, I'll stay with this cosmic knife. And what does she do? She flats out, runs into them, and dies. With like two spear throws. I figure... This is what we'll do. We'll tell her to wait. And we'll kill everything else. Because she's so incredibly weak. I even give her the best armor. Like, what am I supposed to do? So... Anywho, I, it's so funny, uh, I said there was going to be salt, and damn it, there is. Um, so yeah, last time we were, beside the fact of, you know, this awful stuff that's going on with Christine, uh, we've been trying to set off the gala event to open up the Sierra Madre Casino. So we've, we've put uh, Dog slash God into place, uh, so he's ready to use his switches, and then we'll get Christine to her location, and we'll get Dean to his location. But yeah, this is what we're going to do. Christine? Wait here. Chris- Fuck off! Christine. I will- I will kill you myself if you die. I will rip your corpse to pieces. She just fucking died on me. That'd be cool. Actually, Dog, I think, has the most hit points of all, um... Dog slash God has the most hit points of all the, um... NPC, or, uh, all the companions that you can have. So she'll have to wait outside. What the fuck did that save? Oh! Lol, it loaded. But for some reason it shot Christine? Someone please help me. Go online. And please. Please look up this weird glitch. Because it's killing me. I never remember having this much trouble with Christine. She usually is better. Somehow. I don't know why, but she's somehow better in my past playthroughs. She's some for... So, she sucks right now. She's just literally like an explosion waiting to happen. Wait here. Don't follow me, damn it. Hey, Scooter CC. Now that she's not with us, we'll actually be able to survive. We'll just clear the way. Got another one. Get uh, this guy first. Nice. Woo! All right. Awesome. Is anybody still alive? <laughs> Hey, Convoy, how's it going? Oh, Convoy, could you do me a favor? Um, I've 
been having some issues with Christine. For some reason, Christine will not use a ranged weapon. And it is bad because she's so squishy. If you could do me a favor and look up if there's any, like, recorded, like, or glitches or something. Like, of how Christine is not using a ranged weapon, that'd be fantastic. Because I have to leave her behind. Because literally, like, we've at least had, like, 20 minutes of our heads just exploding because she ends up running into a dude and dying immediately. Oh, shit. Yeah, that, that, I mean, that's the... She had a sniper rifle in the past. But yeah, I mean, she had a sniper rifle. I just... I try to give her every single weapon. Like, I try to give her every single weapon and she will only use melee weapons for some reason. I mean, I know she's skilled with melee weapons, but even if I set her for ranged combat... She uses a melee weapon. It's really weird. Exactly, exactly. You can always count on Convoy. Oh boy. How did... I got it... Or I had it close a second ago. Here? Damn it. At least we have a decent amount of bobby pins. Actually, we have a... F ton of bobby pins considering. Wow! Oh! Interesting! Okay, so force her to take a rifle. Um. Could you instead look up, um. Plasma rifle or something? Um. Because I don't want to give her her rifle, because that would be a little bit game breaking. But we have a, um. If you could look up a plasma rifle code, then I'd definitely do that. Okay, so... Also, what's weird is if I take this cosmic knife from her, right? She actually just wields nothing. Which is freaking weird. But uh, what we would do, what, Christine add item... Because we do have a plasma rifle. Um, and we'll just add that to her and hopefully... Adding it via code will help? Freaking, I don't know. It's probably something like zero zero something. Zero zero four three four four one. Christine. Uh, let's see. What's Christine's character number? The only other thing I can think is that this permutation of Christine is fucked up. And the only way I can think of, of fixing this is to actually basically spawn in another Christine and hopefully that one works. <laughs> I don't know if it'll work, but heck, I was able to spawn in like hundreds of, uh, Oh, what's her name? The, the, the... Mr. House's, like, sex robot. I forget her name exactly. Um, actually, let me, uh... Let me do this, then. Let's remove it from her. Uh, so that we're not terribly cheating. We don't want an extra plasma rifle that we didn't earn. Okay, so she should have nothing. Okay, good. Now then. Um, oh, how does this work? Is it player place at me? And then her number? Is that how it works? 
Or is it maybe it's just place? Place at me. Uh, oh wait, Sierra Madre is... Let me quick save first before we do this. We're just going to do this. Take her armor? Okay. That's a good call. She may spawn without it. Okay, cool. Um... Alright, let's quick save just in case like something terrible happens. Okay, place at me. What, uh, like zero one? It could be zero two. This might spawn someone else completely different. <laughs> one, two, FF. Oh, apparently one. How come it's not working? Function place at me requires a reference. Is it player dot place at me? No. I don't know, Bakora. Um, I would assume like a hacking terminal. All right, Comboy, what am I doing wrong? Is it place at me? Is it player place at me? What's going on? Ah, Ripped City Keys. Cool. Hey, Georgie. How's it going? I need to find your cell number. What area am I in? I think I'm... Oh, jeez. I'm at... That is the wrong button to press. I'm sorry this happens, but jeez. She's like bugged out to shit right now. Uh, we're in, I think, the villa. Yeah, we're in the the, uh, the first place that you enter. Oh gosh, combo, that's awful. Oh! Oh! It worked! <laughs> that freaked me out. Okay, new Christine. Hey, she has the uh, the medical thing. Can I? Can I finally do this? What do we need? Um, what's it called? I'm not sure if I have any more. Oh well, we'll figure it out later. Use the console to delete the other one. By the way, what is it? It's is it remove or is it um? Oh, it's disable, isn't it? Disable. Okay, so new Christine. Hopefully, this works. Wait, what? Um. Oh, I have to get her to follow me first. Actually, let's do this. It's time for us to part ways. I'm sure head back to your place. Ooh, you know what? This Christine doesn't work. This Christine does not work. Um, yeah. Oh, no. Wait. Maybe she works? I guess I didn't. Okay, let's try this. Head back. Something's off about her. We might have to... Well, let's just see if it works giving her a weapon. Oh, you know what? You know what? It is totally wrong. It's totally wrong because normally we get a menu to talk to her. And we're not getting a menu. We're just getting her, like, dialogue. Damn it. The only thing I can think of is that 
Yeah, yeah, move into another area, see if the scripts reinitialize, yeah. The only thing I can think of is that, like, off-camera or something, I'm gonna have to install a mod that changes Christina even the slightest bit uh, as some sort of change. Alright, well, that didn't work. Frickin' A. You want to load, load here. <laughs> I know, right? Freaking A. I'm having such a hard time with this. She's just gonna have to wait here. That's that's all there is. See, th this menu didn't come up. Oh yeah, we have to remove the plasma rifle from her inventory. Uh, do, 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 yep, remove item. There we go. Okay, you wait here. Alright, well, she's useless. Until I find a mod that fixes her. I don't think this is a normal problem. It's probably something. I don't even know. I was looking up a mod for, uh... There was one that, like, said that, like, technically Christine is doesn't have the skills that she says. Let's see. Yeah, but, um, I, I looked up a mod and actually what it did was it made so all of her skills that she actually says are the skills that she has. But, oop, oop, toxic cloud. But yeah, I'll have to worry about that later. Did I explore everything over here? Just to make sure there's nothing in the cabinets. I like that even though I'm telling her to wait, the uh... There's still something over here causing... Is it here? Hmm. Take the Abraxo cleaner. That's strange. Why would there be a radio? Huh. Alright then. Is that the problem? Is that the- all along I had to give her ammo? If that's the case, I'm gonna be so angry because I have a mod installed that's supposed to make it so that they don't need ammo. But it totally makes sense now that you mention it. Okay, so. Take a police pistol. And police pistols use. Okay. Oh my god, you're right. I specifically, specifically installed a mod. That made it, so that you don't have to do that. Oh well. Okay, let's let's get her with some actual good weapons. Convoy, you're a genius. She just didn't have the ammo. I've never had to worry about that in the past because I have a mod that makes it, or at least is supposed to make it, so that your companions don't need ammo. They just whatever you gun you give them, they'll use it. it. It might be only for vanilla, yeah that's probably what it is. Alright, well I'm not using energy cells at the moment, so she can use those. <laughs> Frickin' A. What a bitch, jeez. She could have told me. Well, I mean, she can't actually tell me, but she could have told me. Uh, plasma pistol. Since she's supposed to be good at it. Yeah, so we're probably, I mean, we're probably going to have to worry about that for the other DLCs, too.
Oh, hey, there's a little cloud. All right, Christine. All right, you can take this cosmic knife for backup, but you're going to be using the plasma pistol with small energy cells. Damn, I missed it. Christine? That's what I said. She seems to like that too much. Um... See, but Cora, there's a, a thing that you can do with Almost Perfect that's actually really cool. Uh, basically what you do is you uh, make you use almost perfect and then you collect all the stat bobbleheads and then all of your stats are 10 which is pretty awesome um, but atomic anomaly I there's other there's other good perks I think you can get all right I forgot to tell you to follow me now she'll actually be effective holy crap I'm so displeased I'm so displeased Really? But she's a Brotherhood of Steel person. She's supposed to be good at that. Of, of energy weapons. Let me try something then. Do we have a police pistol on us? What happens if I give her this police pistol? Now she uses the plasma pistol. I, I, I've, I've, I've given up on trying to make sense of Christine. Like, uh, completely. I just don't even... Whatever. <laughs> okay. See what we got here. Oh, finally, finally. Well, I guess if you're counting to go to twenty health, then yes, anomaly or um, ooh. did I get shot at? What did that actually do? I always hate that when you trigger something and then you're like, oh wait a second, what just happened? And you have no idea what just happened? Oh, cool! It was a rigged shotgun on the wall. Cool. We're all right. Ooh, bear trap. Tin cans. Let's see some Sierra Madre chips and tats. Cups. Is that an important book? No. Okay. Wow. <sighs> gotta be careful of those. Electric fuse box. I assume that's useful for something. We'll probably have to collect those eventually. I am supposed to get her to an objective and I'm just not doing it at the moment. <laughs> uh, let's do that first so we know what we're actually doing. Oh, do you have meteor showers where you are? That's cool. Yeah, almost perfect is, is a fantastic perk to take. 
a little overpowered because all of a sudden all your stats are nine. <laughs> All right, let's see what we're doing here. <clears throat> Scrap electronics, nice. As soon as we find a crafting table, I'll be very happy. <laughs> yeah, comboing. Oh, oh, oh. I kind of want to go in there, though. Let's do it. Bullet time. Alright, George's going well. Have fun. Uh oh. I think we were safe over here. And Christine in first. I want that cloud residue. Okay, I think what we need to do is we need to run in here. Find whatever radio is causing. Oh. My color's actually fine. Cigarettes, I'll take those. Hammer and fixing things. Yeah, it's pretty wild that all of a sudden, right, you choose a perk and then, like, almost perfect. And you're like, oh, all of a sudden I'm like a perfectly charming young man. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, I don't know where that other radio is. Oh my, convoy, oh my. Oh boy. Yep, we definitely got some goats going on. Well, you know what? Let's aim at the gas tank. Whew. Ah! Damn you. Uh, Christine? Uh, Chris, Chris Christine? What the fuck are you doing? Girl, you must have lost a whole chunk of brain when that explosion went off back at Big Mountain. Fucking A. Oops. 
hit Christine by accident. Oh, is that what it is? She's trying to kill the ghost? She's trying to pick something up from the ghost. Hey, at least she's not running straight into people. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a mod for Christine, because Christine is just awful. So, did you run out of ammo? What's going on here? No. You have energy cells. Hey, I, I'm just happy she's not running into people with a knife now. It, it's better than, than, than what... Yeah. Still in a poison cloud. There, the switching station. That's where you'll need to bring the mute. You're going to point lookout? Awesome. One is on my radar. I think there is convoy. Saw one a few days ago that's that like made it so that she's good at all the weapons she says she's good for. Here's the switching station. Let's just get her in here. Holy crap. Jeez. I can't believe this. Oh sweet, gotta love all these things. Well, please tell me there's a crafting table in here. I'll be so happy. Alright, Mr. Radio Frequency. See, Jerry rigged the circuit breaker. A few quick adjustments and the power comes back on. Awesome. I guess I could have collected those circuit breakers too. Okay, cool. Hopefully that'll help. Nope, can't fix her AI, but hopefully she'll be good at the skills that she says she's good for. Otherwise, I'm going to have to maybe look for like a more comprehensive mod that like... I, I don't even know really does something to <laughs> anything would be better than what she's doing now which is just running in circles trying to pick up something oh there you are are you serious I can't effing reach it funny, even if we unequipped her gun, it would be worse. I'm trying to read the messages to see if they actually help me. Uh oh. I saw it. Okay. Goody. Programmer's Digest. Uh, what does this say? Treasure's all mine. <laughs> How many freaking radios are there? Jeez. OK, 
Yeah, I don't know where it is, but we'll find it, I guess. Okay, so probably a bad idea to go down there. Hmm. Is it an odd one? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Are you freaking serious? There we go. Okay, so... We have to find a different way across or something. I think I might just have to go down there. anything over here. Oh yay, coins! Okay, maybe head back down in there. Okay, I'm not seeing a good staircase over. Oh, here we go. Just as I said it. Right. Apparently we gotta go this way. It is crazy that people... Christine, you're actually going to cause me to die if you don't move. <laughs> okay, get a quick save. That one is shielded! Now, I do believe... We have to be careful here. Did I activate the tripwire? Fuck me. That's gonna kill us, actually. We gotta go back. <laughs> that would've just killed us right then and there. Those were grenades that just fell down. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, I keep forgetting, I do have a uh, bullet time. Okay. Gotta get the angle. Fuck. Can I pick up these grenades? I'll have to uh, disable it before, because I don't. For some reason, I can't activate the tripwire. I'm just getting like a bad angle. I can sprint and use bullet time at the same time. All right, where is it? It was over here, wasn't it? The, the grenade bouquet. What if? Bloop! I can jump it. I can jump it. <laughs> that works. Alright, let's see if this powers down the circuitry or something. Series. Could be. Roving. Nope. Doesn't have ING in it. Covers. Nope, then it's noises. Nope, it could be knives. Alright, let's see if we can't remove a few duds here. Is there nothing? Oh crap. Alright, I'm gonna have to try that again. Probably was one in there, but... <laughs> nice convoy. Alright, 
circle. Not even close. Calls. There we go. Turn speakers off. Status report. Non-central systems. Announcement uh, system warning. One of the floor speakers are offline. Please contact uh, IT to resolve. Okay. Christine. Christine, stop. Ooh. Now where was the grenade bouquet then? It's like stuffed up here somewhere? I would love some more grenades. It like fell down here somehow. Let me try uh... Huh. Even EMP vision isn't bringing up anything. How strange, it must be a triggered thing that it just falls through. Actually, I'm curious, let me see. Is it through the ceiling, so you're not supposed to get it? Oh, it's right there, oh, okay. That's a sneaky, sneaky place. There we go. Good now. I don't see what the purpose of that was at all. It's written over here. Let's see. What we got here? <clears throat> Subject, in case of emergency. In case of emergency, all non-essential systems are to be shut down immediately to help automatic systems uh, balance the load. Uh, should the automatic systems fail, your foreman will assign uh, one of you to enter the manual override chamber located adjacent to the main regulator. Sneaky nades. Uh, second shifts. The boys uh, hit by the gas were still out. Uh, everyone's pulling uh, more work as a result and grumbling uh, starting. Mr. Yesterday has been keeping uh, the hard liquor in chems uh, coming under Sinclair's eye. Uh, it's helping. Isn't helping. Uh, we need these boys back. We have other kept. We have another chemical leak like that. No more construction for the rest of the year. Okay. So they 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 had this stuff during. Um, uh, and here's the suits. Those new chemical suits came in today, so we could check out the ventilation chambers. Uh, see how that cloud cocktail formed. Uh, suits kind of creepy looking, hard to walk in them, so we need to use sign language to actually make sense of each other. Interesting. At least uh, we can check the pipes and ventilation chambers now. Uh, gas worries me though. Really messes the guys up. And the chambers, uh, if the chambers get backed up again, hate to see what uh, that gas get out. Wipe out the villa. Pretty much what happened. Oh gosh. Hey Dish, how's it going? We're in the Sierra Madre right now. Oh wow, for history's sake. Actually, we might actually get that all. We're, uh, we're trying to get everybody set up for the gala event, which is like a fireworks display, so that we can open the... Uh, over here. We're opening the uh, casino. Christine looks around, Ooh. nods at the terminal on the far right of the room. Activate ventilation system. Okay, you hear a loud noise coming from the room to the west. It sounds as if the ventilation systems are firing up, clearing cloud out, and switching the uh, station basement and sections of Puesta del Sol streets. Cool. Huh. That's good. I quite liked, um, I like the, uh, the lock picking and hacking system. Remote maintenance terminal password. Probably just going to be a number. Oh, uh, damn it, Ennis! How many times have I told you the password for the remote maintenance terminal is? I love that. It's fantastic. 
toxic samples. Ooh, let's read this. Your favorite parts of Fault New Vegas, uh, Fault 3, Fault New Vegas, awesome. Boy, I'm ever glad to be out of that damn suit. Almost lost my men today getting enough samples together for the eggheads to take a look at. Oh gosh. Boy. Let's see if the floor is clear in this place to see if there's anything to explore. Okay, it is clear. Let's see if there's anything down here then. Oblivion lock picking. Oh my gosh. I think people would just rage quit. Oh! Ah! Shit. I gotta be more careful. I mean, I have doctor's bags, but they cost a lot of, of uh, chips. Wait, what? That's kind of odd, isn't it? Silicone rubber block. Sure, I'll take it. We can use that to uh, make handles for uh, different weapons, which is pretty cool. It like raises their swing speed or something because they have a better grip on the weapon. That's from uh, Weapons Mod Expanded. Well, I'm glad we found that. I don't know why that pass was like really crazy. Alright, I think that's everything down here then. Oh look, the dude who like went in here was like such an asshole. He like set up a whole bunch of traps and he himself died over there with his head popped off. Alright, well there is a turret. Should probably take that out first. Now we do have an automatic rifle we can use. That is shielded. I don't see any more turrets right now. Alright, we're gonna have to make our way down there quickly. Quick save. Distance. Hurry up! Hey, look! More sneaky sneak! Bam! What's our sneak at now? Oh, I'm wearing a, I'm wearing a suit. I was gonna say. Let me see. So if I wear like that, what's my sneak at? Cool. I'm gonna wear that since my sneak's so good anyway. Can't repair it though. Alright, well, I don't know how Christine's gonna get over here because I just jumped. Lol. Good luck. Hello? Oh crap. There's a key. And this is key. Uh, locker key. Oh, that's probably for that hard one. Hmm, interesting. Uh, old man Ennis uh, left his key on one of the consoles again, uh, so making uh, this note to remind myself to give it back uh, the next time I see him. We should stuff his locker full of dandy boy apples or something, maybe then he'll be less forgetful. Interesting. Soup damage. Sure the docs in the clinic got mad, but we didn't have any choice. If we wanted to get medical attention after the gas hit us, uh, so we cut the, soup in, the suits open with one of those uh, surplus steak knives. Things could cut through T-bone steak like hot butter. The rest of us tried to pry the locks on our suits. Finally had to use knives on ours too. 
We can't wait until the job is over, and we can't let the villa collapse on itself. Uh, they'll be too busy at the casino anyway. So they were having a lot of problems getting this place started. And still running. Trouble with ventilation? Probably have to do something with the elevator. Hologram rifle reinforced parts! Ooh, yes. Good stuff to have. We have here transfer control to this station. In case of emergency, power regulation procedures can be carried out from the station. However, the practice is not recommended for regular use. Please see our supervisor concerning the use of the station is warranted. Okay. Definitely want the reinforced parts. I'll use the Turk control system. We don't even need to. We don't get experience anyway. We can get down here, which is nice. I don't know what's down here, but might as well check it out. Hey, uh, there you are. Oh, you could have gone down here, too. Right. It doesn't look like there's anything down here. Head back up then. Any use? No. Oh, there's there's a door right there. Can we get in there? Yeah, we can get in here. Okay, let's hack this. Wait. Nope. Then? Okay. Let's see, we got... Turn speakers off! Hell yeah. Maintenance report. Didn't take too long to find the problem heading down the uh, main pipe. We get traces of the gas. Not the full red stuff like last time, though. Uh, minor blessing. The kicker was, despite the sealant, it still got inside the suits. Turns out the gas eroded the metal out of... Um, metal oh oh okay wrote the metal of the suits locks uh, so not only did one of the boys get exposed everybody who we sent down there is locked in their suits so the suits themselves aren't completely like airtight and you can't actually get out of them because it corrodes the locks status report oh boy that is something. <laughs> what is this terminal? Oh, I guess you could disengage the lock if you come from that side. Didn't think of that. <laughs> uh, do you... Anything cool back here? Nah, just... Alright, then I guess we switch the power over? Apparently we have to go up this elevator first. Uh, push the up button. Actually, it'd be cool to push the down button, too. We should see what's down there. Fixing things. Okay, mentats. What we got here? Let's see a Madre chip. Oh, really? Awesome dish. Hmm. I don't think that's the right way to go. At least she's here. Hmm. Christine motions to you, points at the door uneasily, and makes a pulling motion with her hand. She seems hesitant to go near it. Uh, I need you to go down to the manual bypass room to regulate the power. Uh, Christine glances at the elevator, her expression becomes worried, then she looks back at you, then reluctantly shakes her head. Alright, let me see if I can do this, uh, another way to, without sending you down there. Okay, she points at you, then uh, makes a fist and puts it against her chest, then nods. Alright, I want to see if I can go down. Oh, 
okay. Alright, so I think this is where we read out the power. Transfer control to this station. Okay. Now then. I'm going to take my stuff back from you. At least... I'll take my plasma pistol back. I can keep the police pistol. Because I actually use energy cells normally. So you can keep that. Steam motions to you, points to the door. Yep, yep. I found a way to buy uh, to do the bypass from here. Uh, you should be able to just use the terminal over there. Christine nods gratefully. She grant glances at the direction of the terminal, looks at you, then smiles, gives a thumbs up. Um, are you sure you're gonna be okay here? She nods, then gestures at your hand, offers hers. Take hand. Uh, she holds it, uh, meeting your eyes intensely for a few moments, and then gives your hand a gentle squeeze, releases it, and. We'll get through this. She narrows her eyes, determined, and gives the last nod. Um, wait. I, um, uh, shit. I needed that armor. Oh, it's freaky! It's saved with her, like, switching her, um... Oh gosh, that is freaky. It saved her switching out of her armor, but of course, like, neck down, that was freaking weird. Alright, so I need apparently everything from you. Okay, so let's transfer stuff here. Okay, we'll talk. Found a way to bypass the system. Yep. We'll get through this. Hooray! Alright then. Push the up button. <laughs> yeah, convoy. Okay, so we were already here. Now, where is this? Hmm, I don't know. Well, I want to get in here. right there. I can't... Is it... It must be in that room then. Interesting. Let me see if there's a different way to go to it. This place seems huge. Door to derelict housing. Alright. Sure. This looks like a world of pain area. That's okay though. We always find really cool stuff in these areas. We need that. Oh, damn it, it's empty. Uh oh. Cowboy repeater. Enforce this lock.
ghosts. Gosh, they're really hurting me. Um, I'll try and fix that. Let's use, let's see. Purified water to get the water down, because we'll need to anyway. Hey, we got Hydra. Nice. Uh, what else? We'll keep those. We'll drink one of these. Maybe we'll use... Hmm, what can we use? Do we have medics? I'm gonna use medics. And a stim pack, I think. Oh, I forgot. It doesn't work like that. Oh, damn it, he leaped out of the way. Oh my gosh, there's a guy up here. My armor condition is dangerously low. Oh man, really? Oh, that's not true at all. Unless it's talking about the- oh, it's talking about the helmet. That makes more sense. Ow. If I can get him to explode when he dies, then that'd be perfect. There we go. Alright, we're good now. Is that my shoulder we're seeing? Yeah, it is my shoulder, okay. I was gonna say, that's like clipping through a little. Holy crap, really? In that short period of time, you've saw three meteorites? Or meteors, I guess. That's pretty cool. Oh gosh, it came back to life. That one wasn't dead yet. Got him. I freaked out hearing that noise. Jeez. There's a toilet. There's a radio in that room somewhere we're gonna have to find. More common than stars in Terraria. Right. Alright, I think we're gonna go bullet time. Oh, it's that. Never mind. Dude, <laughs> it was just right there. We'll take a Nuka Cola Quantum. Don't have enough of those in this game. Ooh, a pressure cooker. Flower, which is apparently the rarest thing in Fallout. <laughs> At least Fallout New Vegas, that is. Uh, let's check our status for, like, sleep and all that. Yeah. Alright, let's have some food. It's not that bad, actually. I thought it would be very annoying to keep up with food, but it's, it's actually not that bad at all. Uh, let's see, what can we eat? Pork and beans? <laughs> nice. Alright. Um, we can eat like something small like potato crisps. And then some more purified water. Where is it? There we go. Then all we need to do is sleep at some point. There's an electric hot plate. Uh, potent. 
Is there more than that? There's Cloud Kiss Weak, Cloud Kiss Potent. What's what's the other stuff? Isn't there another one? It should be up here. Cloud Kiss Lethal. Huh. I think my survival is 75 though, isn't it? Oh, it's being subtracted by radiation, isn't it? Damn, it is. We'll have to take a look at that at some point. See if we can't remedy that. Find something that gives us plus endurance or something. Wait, you want what? wrenches. I gotta find a crafting table. We just have to. We've, we've seen one in the past, but I just can't remember where it was. Oh yeah? <laughs> Sounds pretty awesome. Alright, let's see. Authorized personnel only. What do we got here? Flower! We did it, boys. We got the machine code for the rarest item in all of Fallout New Vegas. Um... No, no, the only, the only times that happen is in the pit. That's the only, yeah, the, um, when it comes to, like, restrictions entering a, uh, entering new, uh, DLCs, the only things that do that for Fallout 3 are the pit. Everything else is fine. Um, you eventually get your stuff back in the place. Oh, the flower's only rare in Fallout 3? Oh, I thought you were talking about Fallout New Vegas. Oh, it's common in New Vegas. Oh, great. Great. Well, geez. Need those to create a purified water at some point. It's something like surgical tubing and glass pitchers and dirty water or something. Sounds pretty cool. Can I do it right now? Yeah, mass purified water. It's pretty cool. I think it does use up the surgical tubing. So I'm going to keep it. Oh, you know what? Sorry to burst my bubble. Uh, we can make six Sierra Madres martinis. That's freaking awesome. Did I get the uh, this thing? The ash pile? Yeah, I did. I still hear another ghost, though. It's down this way. Whoa! Medex wore off. Well, let's see if we can't repair our helmet with, uh... A few random things. Cooking pot, a pressure cooker. Ooh, nice. Flour, which is apparently not rare. That's Fault 3, not Fault New Vegas. We could sleep here as well, but I, there is someone around here. I just don't know where they are. What we got? Alright, cool. Um, hey, some army guy, how's it going? I love that movie. Uh, let's 
Let's see. So all those are good. Yeah, I just need to sleep a few. But apparently there's still a ghost walking around somewhere. Imagine if I open the cabinet and it just like pops out. I'd be so displeased. I hear it, but I don't see it. That's kind of weird. Is it like stuck in a wall? I think whatever it is, it's stuck in a wall. Hmm. I'm gonna quick save and toggle collision to see if he went through a wall. Unless for like added suspense, he's like added like the breathing of a. You hear that, right? Is he on top of something? Huh. That's weird. I guess there's no enemies nearby. Yeah, some more we got. I'm doing good. We're, uh, we're in the Sierra Madre. And I'm freaked out because I hear a ghost, but I don't see it. Oh, I can apparently sleep. Let's sleep for three hours. I guess it was just the, uh, the, I don't know, extra audio for creepiness, I guess? Because there's not actually one here. How weird. Let me top off my food with some pork and beans. Eh, maybe not. We'll have like potato crisps and some purified water. Awesome. That's much better. Alright. All right. We're sort of like exploring this area because we don't want to miss anything. There's a lot of places. Rooftops and everything. Oh, oh boy. Nice. We have to go to a, um, one of those vending machines at some point. Oh gosh. A little lag spike thing. There we go. I was wondering what was going on. My light wasn't on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've seen Metro been played before. This this definitely Seems a lot like it's service route. Hmm. Might have to go there at some point. I'm not sure if we go there now, though. Twisted is soul south. I want to explore this area fully before I get everybody else set up. Oh boy. Seem kind of slow. Garbage can. Take a wrench. <laughs> there are the electric fuse boxes that I needed. Oh, oh my. Hey, a leather backpack. I'll take it. Hell yeah. Feel bad for whoever this is, but... Awesome. Oh, 
Oh yeah? That sounds crazy. Alright, so we got a backpack now. Ooh, we can repair this actually. Green glasses and a pre-war hat. Awesome. Still can't repair that, unfortunately. Uh, but we got a leather backpack now. So we can carry a little bit more. A little bit more defense, which is nice. Can't... Oh, wait, can I? Doesn't seem to let me activate it. I guess it's just showing the, uh, the poor fate of some other person who was also dragged here. Really, convoy? Uh, contracts. Uh, we have a sweet deal here. I let Mr. Yesterday know, um... I let Mr. Yesterday know about that. Know that we might need to uh, renegotiate our arrangement, move the percentage around, uh, left records in the maintenance just in case things got difficult, blow this death trap wide open, agreed to discuss things in the switching station so we shouldn't, um, so we wouldn't be overheard. That's a weird, convoy. I thought that was a great idea to add a sort of a a nuclear mod to. Uh, Project Zomboid. I think that'd be a great idea. I've seen that in a few games where you have uh, bugs crawl off on your on your character over your face and stuff. Hey, absent. Um, is there a reason I can't? Yeah, there we go. Give me some of that. Gotta get these Sierra Madre chips. Wrenches. All the terminals the same. Visit. Sinclair uh, was a lot more leveled than I was expecting, except after Mr. Yesterday's cracks. He's sharper uh, than one of those knives, too. He asked a lot of good questions about the foundations. Some I couldn't even answer. Didn't bother him, though. Um, he knows engineering, that's for sure. Worried he's still going to see through this villa. Uh, see see it for the cardboard town it is. Hey Archangel, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, some Omri guy. Probably one of the few people that you'll actually see pick up a bug and let it crawl on me. I'm just that kind of person. Um, yeah. In fact, even when I was little, there's actually a vid videotape of me, and there's this giant ass spider, like on a, like a, a spider web, and I'm like, "Can I touch it?" And like my parents are saying, "No, no, don't touch it." I'm like, and I touched it. I didn't care. It was awesome. It was actually shaking the web, um, meaning that it was it was aggravated, uh, which I didn't know at the time because I was like very young, but still it was. Pretty hilarious to see how like ballsy I was as a kid. <laughs> That's weird, Com. I disagree with them. I think you have a great idea. Foreman's key. Oh hey, event. It's empty. Fixing things. There's a cloud out there. Oh boy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oop, nope. Oh, okay. Should be careful too. There's something down there. I think it's a rad roach though. Yeah, it's a rad roach. Alright, take some shelter. Go back out there. Oh yeah, um, I gotta get that picture. Show you guys that, because that is hilarious. Alright, I'm on the roof now. Hopefully this will open up, like, new areas for us. Are you? Survey schedule. Sinclair's coming tomorrow to check in on the Ville's progress. 
progress, in quotes, uh, told the boys to look sharp for the suit, uh, not bring the big starlet, though. Uh, so the boys were grumbling about that. Better watch himself. Might have a nasty fall on in the switching station. So, from what I'm gathering right now, it seems like the people that were in construction for the Sierra Madre pretty much were, like, cutting corners and pocketing the money and basically making what they describe as, like, a cardboard town. And... Yeah, it seems like most of the stuff like that happens in the villa is the fault of the construction workers. And the ghosts are the fault of, well, the people at Big Mountain. Because they were not made to be able to, you know, handle this um, area. Can't take the Madre from me. Ooh, it's a very hard locked terminal. Indefinitely. Civilization. There we go. More explosives. More demolition charges showed up today. Checked with Mr. Yesterday. He didn't know squat about the shipment. Was only interested if anyone made a buck off it. Uh, these something Sinclair ordered, or is it another cock up like the knives? Uh, we got more than enough explosives already. Why is the High and Mighty planning to blow up the road in this uh, to this place so no one can get here? Oh yeah, the lever action rifle at point lookout? Great. Alright, activate hologram. Hopefully those will activate holograms so there'll be less uh, ghost people on the streets. Can we deactivate them later if we ever choose to come back here? Good question, actually. Yeah, we can deactivate it. Cool. I actually have a mod that you can come back here, so... That might be pretty cool. Yeah, when my hair gets longer, it is kind of like a compressed afro. Yeah, you're right about that. If, if I let it grow, it would start, like, the second layer, and it just starts, whoop, and then, like, all the curls, like, go up and stuff. It's crazy. But frickin' long hair, man. Especially in the summer is awful. Anything up there? Oh, hey! I say that, but that's not true at all. There is something up here. There we go. Yep, cool, there's a hologram there. So ghost people won't mess with it. Oh my gosh. And yeah, we're getting all the history here. Damn raid. Little security showed up today and searched the place. Domino must have made the chi uh, the chief mad, so this was payback. Had all her stashes tucked away when they arrived. Didn't find much. Chief tried to be all hard with us about keeping our noses clean. Uh, ranted about casino policy. That's Sinclair's a tight ass. Sick of these spot checks and stripped by the casino search programs every time I enter the villa. What is his issue with chems? Uh, he could use some. <laughs> so could that pretty bride-to-be, uh, though she looks half doped up with that expression of hers. Medex from the looks of it. Interesting. I'm surprised I'm not getting any uh, other... Oh, there's Psycho. Sierra Madre chip. Is there something down there? Oh, an ashtray. I guess you could have got on this roof a lot earlier, but I never. <gasps> Fuck me. Is my is my leg awful? We can deal. It wasn't a bad bear trap. If that's a thing. Let's just check around here first. 
like going on the uh, the villa roofs here. Ah, oh, there it is. I was wondering where that freaking thing was. Um, excuse me. Can you throw this thing as opposed to just holding it in your hand? There we go. How much time is between New Vegas and three? Yeah, it's something like that. Yeah, I can't remember offhand, but it's something like that. It's a stained note. What do we got here? Uh, liquor shipment finally came in today. Didn't realize working here would be such a... Uh, would be like working in a dry state. Uh, just need to keep it out of uh, sight of security in Sinclair. Ought to take the edge off the day, keep it stashed in the back. Yep, he's got Absin. And whiskey. A lot of eyeglasses here. Um... I assume that there was supposed to be something right here that stopped you from going down the staircase, but for some reason it's not there. Because, I mean, there was a note and everything. I was supposed to be in that room, I guess. That was a little weird. A little weird indeed. Oh, it's that radio. The scotch bottle. Anything in there? Nope. See if we can't get, uh, once we explore this whole place. I'd like to find a crafting table, though. Convoy, could you do me a favor and look up where crafting tables are located in uh, the Sierra Madre? I've seen one but f before, but for the life of me, I can't remember where I found it. Yeah, like, there sh probably should have been a wall like this. Although that doesn't even make any sense, to be honest. Cloud residue. Is there more cloud residue? I like collecting it. I do have to go there at some point, but I'm afraid of, uh... What is that? Quick save. Is there one in my house? Ah, crap, I fell down. Shit. Uh, how'd I get up there in the first place? How come I can't run? That's weird. I thought there was some more. To head back up. Damn it. How'd this work? What's this place? Service room. It's 
special orders. Those vending machines are something else. We got codes in today, so we don't even need the demolition charges. Um, or even more tool orders. You use these things um, at the vending machines that unlocks construction equipment, even demolition charges and repair kits. Oh, sweet. So we got a demolition charge. Dead money jumpsuit. Nice, Pecora. Nice. So wait, where is this thing? Okay. There's derelict housing. Where's this go? Oh, okay, so it's all one big area, basically. Okay. Interesting. Alright, now how the hell... Did I get on the roof? It was over here, wasn't it? Or it wasn't? Ooh, residue. Hey. Is there a freaking roach after me? How the... Can we, like... Aliyoop? Aliyoop? Yeah, there we go. Is there any uh, reason why I should be this way? I think I figured out no. Yeah, I was debating doing Tales of Two Wasteland, but like, I don't know, I feel like doing it in order, doing different characters is, is enough. Alright, well, let's check out what we missed over here. Ooh. Mine. We could hop over there, I think. And I think that's it for this area, and then we'll get Dean Domino to where he needs to be. Oh, you. Shit. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Look, I made it! I couldn't bear to do that again. <laughs> for my sanity's sake, I did that. You could have, but I jumped at the wrong time. Oh, okay, there wasn't actually that much left. Well, geez. Wonderful. Well, let's head out of here, then. I, like, see chips in the back of my mind. I'm like, I need them. Ooh, let's get the upgrade. I'm so bad at hardcore parkour. It's true. Uh, let's get... A... Hull rifle advanced calibration. Just one of them. Thank you. Ooh, increases the accuracy by 62%. Hell yeah. Is it visually any different? I don't see it. If there's anything visually different about it. Oh, okay, I'll see you later, convoy. Have a good one. <laughs> Alright, 
right, let's get Dean Domino on the case. How come I can't sprint? I don't know. I think Domino, Dean Domino, has a gun. So he's fine. What is our unarmed at? Well, we'll read the Pugils of Illustrated anyway. There we go. Was that him floating above the fountain, the boss man? The one who put these bow ties on our necks? Sure does like to make a presentation. We should keep it down or else the ghost people are going to swarm the gates. Vera hologram or no. Okay, know anything about this scale event we're supposed to trigger? Supposed to be the grand opening of the Sierra Madre. Lots of lights, music, the works. And he's going to use the gala event to open the casino? But that's interesting. Uh, why... It is sure interesting. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Maybe the drain in power. That'll cause the security systems to shut down enough to let us in. But getting back out? No, the place will close up tighter than an opening at the fronds. Or Danny Parker's sphincter when he has to tip a doorman. <laughs> nice. What was my favorite DLC? Um, I really like the pit. I really like the pit. It again puts you in a similar situation to the Sierra Madre, uh, but it's just, I, I, it's just like, it's clawing from desperation, and uh, it's, it, I think it's really cool to like test your character out in those situations. Okay, so the Gale event is tied to the casino's generators. Right, look, so not everything about the villa was the pinnacle of bright ideas. In order to pull off the gala, old Sinclair had to get creative. The Sierra Madre announcement, for example. Not just for the casino, not at all. The gala's tied to the casino, draws on its power. Might cause it to reset itself, open the doors for a bit like it was supposed to. Okay, um, what do you mean about the Sierra Madre broadcast? Well... Vera's beautiful voice doesn't run on casino power, exactly. Her broadcast is tied into the emergency broadcast signal for the Sierra Madre. Interesting. You know, in case of attack. Well, guess what? The night of the gala event, the emergency signal went out all right. But because the broadcast had been hooked up to the gala event, instead of an emergency signal, you get Vera's voice on the radio. Great, huh? Nice. So it's not an invitation, it's a call for help. Yeah. The Sierra Madre's last song. One only a few people are ever going to hear. A little sad, but what can you do? Okay. Uh, according to the map marker, you're um, slated for a spot in the Puesta del Sol. No. Looks like a rooftop in Puesta del Sol. In better days, nice view. Now, it's the last place anyone wants to stand when this event goes off. That place during spring, summer, and fall, a little bit in winter, is a prime resort spot for ghost people. Not the best of neighborhoods. If we're going there, I'm not going alone. And if you have any bright ideas about telling me to stroll over there, or leave me there, no thanks. Okay. Any idea why he wants you there? Partner, I'm not sure this guy's operating with a full deck. My bet? Process of elimination. Lowest common denominator. He figures the strong man's needed somewhere, even if it sounds like the strong man's two minds about it. Plus, I'm guessing wherever old doggy boy's needed doesn't need smarts. I hope not. Or we're royally jonesed. <laughs> um, what about Christine? Christine, that her name? 
Nice name. I mean, you can't see it on posters, but never mind. I don't know. She might need to hold some place where speaking isn't important. Like stage tech? Lighting? <laughs> Got me. And me? I've had prime billing in Europe, New York, and this gig doesn't feel like that. Don't get me wrong, I can hold an audience, conduct a score from the rooftops, but I'm guessing I'm the odd man out in this whole heist. I'm not following you. Odd man out, dead weight. Someone you need holding the toolbox, the nurse passing the scalpel, the chauffeur driving you to the concert. Any guy with hands is who he needs up on that rooftop. Guess he thinks I don't rate looking like I do. Poor him. Okay, other questions? All right. Yeah, we, we, we're good there. Oh, yeah, let's do this. Before you mention the hologram of the fountain, Vera, do you know her? Yeah, don't you? Or... I guess Villa Keys got lost along with the rest of the hollow archives when the bomb hit, huh? Ghost in name and image. Still a looker, though. Got to hand it to Sinclair. Sure can pick him. Well, or get picked. Whichever. Okay, can you tell me about her? Vera was a big star back before the bomb. Not the best actress, but... Well, she had other talents. Nice voice. Nice legs. For some reason, Sinclair, he built this place. She caught his eye. Once he was hooked, that was it. Had to have her. So made the introductions and guess what? He builds this place for her like some kind of Cleopatra obsession. Wasn't always a death trap. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't always a death trap. Trap. Um. So you met her before you met Sinclair? Of course. What? some kind of surprise to you that I knew people once? Used to have my name in lights, all right? Knew a dozen Vera's or whatever her name was. Uh, Villa Keys. Figured I could pay Sinclair back. Introduce the two. Guy was a slouch in the dame department. Had to pick up the slack somehow. <laughs> nice. All right, uh, let's travel together. Strike up the band. Domino's back in town. All right, Bakura, I'll see you later. All right, we got Dean Domino with us, but um, hopefully... Uh, let's go back to the, the safe house. See if we can't drop a few things off. And then we'll continue... Um, yeah, we'll try to get this guy to where he needs to be. Don't dive in for too long. Only so... She had a moderate day, wait. Okay, um, let's see what we can put away in this locker. Automatic rifle, cosmic knives, cowboy repeater. Should we give him a cowboy repeater? It might be good for him. Well, let's see what else we got. Alright, well what can we give him? We need something that has a lot of ammo. 9mm machine gun? Maybe? That'd be pretty cool. Gangster style? Let's see if he's up for it. I think I left a weapon mod in the uh, oven. <laughs> Sounds kind of weird. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, alright. Let's deal. She got a 44 revolver. Are you using that 44 revolver? I'm not sure if he is. Let's deal. What about this? I know he's probably suffering from the same thing, so he's not using that 44 revolver at all because he doesn't Let's have ammo deal. for it. As soon as I get 9mm, he's probably going to use it. Let's see. I 
Yep, yep, he's using it. Awesome. Oh, well, let's see. It is funny. I could have sworn there was actually, like, a crafting table in here. But there isn't. You sure came a long way to rob this place. Guess greed is in the blood. I'll have to find one, I guess, off camera, because I... He got me. I've come across a few, but I just don't know where I found the last one. We'll need it. Make, like, armor repair kits and stuff. Alright, let's drop a few things off, because I'm getting over-encumbered. Alright, miscellaneous. I have a lot of stuff. A Braxo cleaner. We can return those. Conductors. I'll keep those with me. those back. I'll keep all the stuff I need for, uh, we got 101 jar residues. Awesome. Pressure cookers. I'll keep these because we can make, uh, weapon repair kits and stuff. Put that one there. Surgical tubing. Keep the tin cans. Put away the turpentine. That's better. And uh, we'll put away the assassin suit and the Sierra Madre armor. That should be good for now. Okay, cool. Awesome. That should do it. Oh, yes, and I can sprint now. It's always wonderful you when you can sprint. Let's go see if we can't return a few things here and there. Okay, let's see. Yep, return casual wear. We can return. Cigarette cartons. Get a good amount of uh, chips for that. And cigarette packs. Oh yeah, we're gonna get tons now. Awesome. Those machines, Sinclair's little gifts. Lasted longer. If you need food. Let's see, I think actually he's in a very similar location. He's probably in a different Puesta del Sol area. Which we can actually get to easily because I think we explored most of it. Which is pretty sweet. We just put him in place and heck, we might even be able to get the Gale event started tonight. Which I wasn't expecting. Based on how Christine was acting. <laughs> um, Alright, so he we have to take the service route. That's fine. Let's head through the hole in the wall there. If we go backstage, we avoid the locals. I already sort of cleared this place out, so it's fine, actually. Get a moderate may wait. Okay, now it's telling me to go... I'm gonna go this way and then hope it's closer. Because it's not giving me the right direction. But still, soul south. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Ooh, this is a new area. Okay, then. Let's see what we're dealing with. We have a much more accurate hollow rifle, which is nice. Let's see if we can shoot that gas tank out of his hands. That is beautiful. Sure he's dead. Coke him with a 
Oh, it's not that, is it? I wonder what that... Maybe it's his dialogue? Could have been his dialogue. Oh, gosh. Now I see what he means by this place is a death trap. I like how he keeps smoking. It's hilarious. Oh gosh! Hey Charlie Scene, how's it going? Oh gosh. I'm sure that's the best weapon for him, actually. He seems to be using it. Oh, fuck, he died. God damn it. Probably should have gave him armor. Probably should have gave him armor. Let's see if there's an auto save closer to when I was in that uh, armored or uh, reinforced house. Hmm. I think that's when I was talking to him, so that's a little bit too far back. <laughs> you know, it's it's so funny. I was fine with Dog. Dog was fine. Dog was fine. But when it comes down to it, friggin' Christine and Dean Domino are like the squishiest, like, unhealthy people. That just like you could flick them and they'd just die. And you're all tied together, so once they die, you die. So tired of tourist season. No fantastic, offense, right? But you guys are lower in the bar. Alright, we're gonna try to give him a different weapon since uh, I don't trust him with automatics. I'll just be honest. He doesn't seem to shoot his mark if he shoots a lot. All right, so let's take out um, Sierra Madre armor. I always liked him better in a suit, and for some reason, I don't know why. He would survive in a suit in my games. I don't know why. I guess it's harder? My modded version? I don't know. Okay, you get to wear that because you're apparently too squishy to actually live at all. Uh, let's see... What else do we have going for us right now? I could give him an automatic rifle, but... Eh. Give him a caravan shotgun. I don't know if that's a good idea either. Give him a cowboy repeater. That might be a good idea. It has to be ammo that I have a lot of, because apparently ammo counts in this case. Yeah, we'll go with that. Let's steal. Let's, uh. Well, good, we have two cowboy repeaters. And I believe I have a mod for this, if I'm not mistaken. Uh. Yeah, custom action and maple stock. So it's a little bit lighter. And uh, can fire more often. Let's give him the right ammo. There we go, that's better. Now we can take on the world or something. 
hopefully. Head back here. Hopefully, we'll have a better time. <laughs> These companions cause more problem than anything. Take on the world or something. <laughs> Understand, Charlie, that um, I actually have about 30 minutes. I had like about 35 minutes in the beginning of the stream that I actually restarted the stream because we made absolutely no progress because Christine is terribly terribly bugged and for some reason only uses melee weapons and in addition to that when she has a ranged weapon even if she has the ammo she doesn't actually shoot anything she just runs in circles trying to pick up stuff from corpses so we were just constantly dying for about 30 minutes due to Christine's ineptitude Let's try this again. Quick save. Ow! Oh gosh, there's one right there. That's highly productive of her. How does she do it? Oh, I'm on fire at the moment. I'm literally on fire. Him. He's got like the hops going on. Oh, stop the mid hop. What else are we dealing with here? Well, he's dead. He's dead. Okay, we're going to try to back up here. Gosh, I really need to find a crafting table. Recycle some of my ammo. A ruined cafe. This could be a world of pain area, so... This could be bad. Holograms here, I think we're safe. Can I buy anything? I forgot, he really doesn't have much. Can we make, uh. Not much, really. What's this? Cosmic Knife Radiation Bombardment. What? This is a restricted dispenser code in the use for vending machines. It gives access to the radiation bombardment weapon for cosmic or weapon mod for cosmic knives. Well, that sounds fancy as all hell. Just in case. It's a nice large bathroom. This seems vanilla. It doesn't seem like it's uh, a world of pain, actually. You can tell because there's nice open space. 
as opposed to uh, World of Pain, which is very cluttered. I do like the cluttered feel, though. There's more to search through and everything. Um, I'm not going to take anything. I could nitpick and get like all the clothes and stuff, but screw it. Yeah, I don't need any of that. What's next? Seize duct tape in locker. Could not have grabbed it faster. <laughs> it's true though. Um, duct tape is used for a lot of crafting recipes, and for a long while in the beginning of uh, of the series, like we were like on this weird thing where we could not find duct tape. So in the beginning of the series, like any time we found duct tape, we were like. Duct tape! Oh my gosh! Because it's used for like weapon repair kits and stuff. Like really good stuff. Oh crap. Yeah, that guy. We won't shoot that guy. You're fucking kidding me. If it wasn't for them, we'd be okay. But damn, I even gave him armor and everything. Oh boy. I mean, he's got a cowboy repeater. He should be, be well, actually, he's not using his cowboy repeater. Well, let's steal. Why? Why aren't you using it? Okay, I had to re-equip it for him, apparently. That's something I'll have to look out for in the future. Oh, I forgot to go in the cash register before. In this room. Newton cans. We sure came a long way to rob this place. Guess green is in the blood. What's this? Little storeroom here. Ooh, right away. Nice. Junk food. I think we're good. Duct tape. There's nothing in the bathroom as I recall. Oh, you know what? I keep forgetting I have this. Because in the Sierra Madre, like, Basically everything's taken from you and I just assume that I have nothing. But I actually do have um, all of the cybernetic surgeries. So technically I have the stealth nanobox. I forgot about that. So we should be using that more often so we're not like ambushed all the time. Let's see, take all those, good. I don't think we need any more glass pitchers. Ah, uh, yes! Duct tape can fix everything. Yeah, I did forget that hollow tape. I was freaking out about that hollow tape before because it sounded so awesome. So is that for any... is that... it's just like a weapon mod, right? Oh, I don't have one on me. Oh well. All the normal tin cans, I'll take those. Anything good in the oven? Pork and beans! 
Gotta love those pork and beans. I'll take all that. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Give me some of that. Oh. Not everybody's too happy about what just happened there. I'm like looking through my gun. That is freaky. You're fucking kidding me. Fuck you, asshole. Take him with me! Oh, it didn't work. It's crazy. It's literally crazy. Like, what, can he not take three spears to the face or something? Like, what is up with that? I guess my character's level 50 and they are not- oh, oh gosh. You're fucking kidding me, we're all the way back here. I do love this DLC, but for some reason, I've never had this problem in the past. It's making me like this DLC a little less. I'll be honest. I'm not having the best of times right now. Because I don't remember having this much trouble keeping everybody alive. Maybe it's because I wasn't level 50 at the time and maybe everything else is scaled up except for these guys? Maybe that's why. <laughs> I mean, true, if you're, if, you're, if you're saying that, then yes. Not many people IRL can take a spear to the face. She had a moderate Just make sure I get everything. There we go. I mean he's wearing armor. Frickin' A. Maybe we should go out that door instead. Is he damaged? Like, is he hurt? He's only, he's only 99 health. Oh, okay. That makes more sense now. I can accept that. He only has 99 health. While I have 585 health. That is making much more sense to me now. You'd figure though, right? He's a ghoul, so he'd have a bit more resistance. Or maybe it's the opposite. Maybe it's he's a ghoul, so like he has less physical resistance than a normal human would. I don't know. They're supposed to heal in radiation, apparently. If that's the case, I'd, I'd carry some like fucking nuclear shit around with me always. Loophole or something. How is that fair? Exactly! How is that fair, right? I'm gonna- I have to look up a mod. Cause it's a little ridiculous. This place probably would have been alright if maybe we were lower level, but the fact that we're level 50 and probably every enemy scales with me, and like Dean Domino has friggin' like 99 health is kind of obscene. Kinda crazy. Pork and beans? Aw oh, man. R and Jesus does not like me getting pork and beans. Alright. Quick save this time. Stealth. Immediately we're caution. Nope. We're actually in danger at the moment. Where? Somewhere down this tunnel. It was a rad roach. 
Probably wasn't just a rad roach. You know, it's funny, I never used a Charon in Fault 3, so I wouldn't know. Let's do some rooftop sniping. Alright, so this is the way we came in. Hopefully having the, the height advantage will help us a little more. Looks like a horrible area filled with cloud. I'm going to use thermal vision. Ooh. Maybe EMP? Oh, there's like a stupid cockroach over there. Okay, there's a lot of dudes over there. We're gonna quick save. Okay, that's helpful. I thought I saw some others. Sneak around this rooftop. Sure came a long way to rub this place. Guess what <sighs> hear them. Let's head back in there. Go through the other door. Dean Domino's not with me at the moment. That's kind of awkward. Stop waltzing about. Come on now. Alright, let's see if we can't get... You coming through here. Boost. Nice, Dean Domino taking charge. Killing some fools. There we go. Holy crap. I don't think he's dead, though. There we go. Alright, I think we're good now. Let's skirt along the rooftop here. On the other side. Is Dean on the ground right now? Because that's a little bit even more badass, considering. Alright, well. Apparently, Dean's on the rooftop. Or he was on the rooftop for a second. I don't know where he is currently. Alright, activate hologram. I think we need those uh, for this. I think that's what how he'll feel safe, is that we need to activate the holograms around this area. So that's what we need to find right now. Let's see. That was funny that one time we came down a staircase and there was actually nothing here. <laughs> I don't know why that was. Uh, 
Oh, you know what? It just dawned on me. The reason they give you those shotgun shells is because you normally, um, you can actually disarm a, uh, a shotgun trap to get a single shotgun uh, weapon. I didn't think of it that way before. I think he's on the other side of that door, which is hilarious. Oh, oh. Take those drained microfusion cells. Alright, well, let's head down there. Well, now, if it isn't my ball, chain, and dog collar rolled all into one. Uh. Uh. Um. That's enough for now. I'd shed it. I think he said that because it's been a while since we were together, like I was on the rooftop and stuff. So I think that's why he said that. I think we might be okay, actually. We might have gotten everybody. We're good throwing spear-wise. Hey, it's a secret ammunition box. Awesome. Some snacks. Ghost person. Are we here? No, I don't think so. Uh, ooh, buff out. Awesome. We can get some cool stuff from these vending machines. What's the residue used for? It's, uh, return... Oh, interesting. The residue is used for a few different items. Uh, one's the Sierra Madre Martini, uh, which you learn to make from uh, Dean Domino. And it's crazy. Look at that. Strength plus two, endurance plus four, and uh, actually, if I drink one of these, I can show you what else it makes. Oh, never mind. I thought there was a hot plate nearby, but there isn't. It also makes stuff called Cloud Kiss, which is like a poison that you can apply to your melee weapons, which is pretty cool. So, I'm not sure what else it's used for. I think that, yeah, those are the main things, really. Let's see. Hey, anyway, we're gonna get. Um, let's return this. And get a good amount of cap, or not caps, but uh, things back for this. Now, was saying, don't I have a mod for? Uh, that's the. Oh, here's the cosmic knife um, radiation bombardment. Cool. Where there's a bear trap, ghost people aren't far behind. Ash pot. Oh, that was that rad roach that we shot earlier. Oh, there's a. Nope. Oh, gosh. Nope, back up. Luckily, him being in proximity doesn't matter, it's just me. Let me see if we can't shut it down via this... Oh. Never mind. Ooh, okay. Um, we're gonna quick save and see what we can do here. It's probably a radio. Glad. Well, the sun never touched here. It's a nice little spot here. Cloud wasn't always here. Grew over the years, even without cars or factories. Lots of drain microfusion cells, those are good. Demolition charge? Didn't we just get a demolition charge? There we go. I was wondering where that was. Right, no 
let's see what that downstairs is all about. is empty. We got in the first aid. All right. When in doubt, stick quiet and watch where. Oh, we got some scaffolding going on here. All right. All right. Oh shit. Grenades. No. Shotgun? It always makes me worried when I, you know, use a tripwire, but nothing happens. It always freaks me out. Hey, another laser pistol. Nothing in there, nothing in there. Take those and use them for stuff. Let's see. Wonder glue. Can't use that door. He's found his way in. It just looks like an area filled with cloud. Okay, so you can get up there that way too. Alright. Let's uh let's get Dean to the right place, because I think we've cleared the place of ghosts. So let's get Dean to the right area and then hopefully we've we don't have that many more holograms to uh to set up. Now where exactly did this occur? Your right. I didn't go through here yet. I don't think. Cloud wasn't always here. Grew over the years. Yeah, I don't think I've been here yet. Let's see. Oh. There's a conductor. Chasm saving. Good stuff. Gotta like those auto saves. <laughs> I'm going up pretty high. Let's see. Good, more Sierra Madre chips. You're at the Ghoul Scaler area. Now make him stay. Okay. Alright, well let me uh, just explore this area. Ooh, activate hologram. Cool. That might have been the other one that we needed. I'm not sure how many we need. But hopefully that'll help them out. Alright, let's make sure that uh, we take everything from them before we uh, set this up. Let's steal. How come my weight's going, my weight capacity is like going way up? This is where I'm supposed to put on the show. Played better venues, let me tell you. What's that there? Wiring? Looks... Looks like it's tied to the sound system in the villa. Except for that snipped section there. So... what? I stand here, hold the two ends in my hands and tap them together like symbols? What's the plan? Are you gonna be able to do it safely? Safely? What? After your sweet and ruthless talk when we first met, now you care about my safety? Right. Look, I strike up the speaker system. There's going to be ghosts all over this place. Any change in the sounds around here? The ghost people are not big on talking. They are big on listening, hunting, killing. More vicious than music critics, trust me. <laughs> Alright. Alright, what's it gonna take? Take? It's not going to take anything, because you couldn't offer me anything to stay here. The ghost people will come out of the woodwork when the gala event starts blaring, and when they see me trapped up here, 
It's curtains for Dean. Uh, I'm not gonna let any harm come to you, all right? Really? That wasn't the we're both bomb married talk you gave me when we first met. Look, you could offer me a steel-clad contract for a world tour of all major cities with Imperial records. I still wouldn't stay here. Okay. If I clear all the ghost people in the area, will you change your mind? No. You want to know why? Because there's more beneath the streets, in the buildings, and no, everywhere else. They hear anything out of the ordinary, especially music screaming through the speakers when I close the connection. They'll be here fast. I switched on two holograms to cover um, the courtyard. Those should protect you. You powered the holograms up? Well, yeah, that's pretty good protection. Sure worked at the fountain. Vera kept the ghost people away. But, uh... How do I know the power won't suddenly go out? And, I don't know, this still sounds risky to me. For me. Let's see. Ooh, well, actually it doesn't matter at this point, because I don't gain experience anyway. Um, okay, uh, Vera stayed powered up since the bombs fell, those holograms will too. Well, yeah. You got a point. All right, look. If the holograms are here to keep me company, then I don't mind staying here for a while. But listen, when this thing goes off, try and get into the Sierra Madre without me. You'll wish you hadn't. Okay. The bell tower. That's where you'll trigger the gale event. It's a ways up. I'm sure you'll find a way to climb up there. All right, awesome. Cool, everybody's in place then. Uh, let me just make sure... Oops. Bobby pins. Give me that. Oh, my Sierra Madre Martini wore off. Uh, let me make sure I looked... It seems like I explored this whole area. I think we're good then. There might be more on the roof, but um, that's okay. All right. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop there for the day. Then uh, next time we'll start up the gala event. Uh, of course, next time will be what next Monday, uh, because tomorrow is Terraria Day. So I hope you guys are excited for that. Uh, I think tomorrow we'll actually be able to fight the wall of flesh which is going to be pretty cool so yeah i uh, i hope you guys enjoyed and i will be back tomorrow for some terraria and yep i will see you guys next time then all right see you everybody